Hello, Jeff Free Cornwell here again from Marino Performance Motors in West Palm Beach, Florida. Today I'm going to do a walk around video on our 2017 Ferrari 488 GTB. Here is our 488 GTB. Overall, the car is in outstanding condition. There are no significant dings or scratches dents or any paintwork from what I can see on it. Start here on the front nose. You can see the front nose is not all pecked up. Uh, neither is the lower uh, part of the front bumper and the splitter. It's all really nice. If we look really closely, you'll see you got a couple small little rock pecks right there and I don't know if I really see anything else uh, very just a very nice uh, front end here uh, you look on the hood no dings or scratches move over here to the driver's side front fender no dings or scratches Got no uh, curb rash on the wheels. Uh, date code on the front tire here is 2022, so they've been just recently replaced. Go down the driver's door. See, there's no uh, no door dings, no scratches, no issues here. It's got the black lower rocker panel. Going here to the rear fender. Got the carbon fiber piece here on the intake. Again, no dings or scratches. Uh, rear tire, date code uh, 2022. No curb spots on the wheels uh, back here. Take a quick look at the top. No dings or scratches on the top of the car. Move around here to the rear bumper. No dings or scratches. Got the uh, carbon fiber rear segment pieces uh, by the tail lights. Take a look underneath here. Looks like the rear uh, diffuser splitter is all in really good condition. Come on over here to the passenger side. No dings or scratches. And look at the wheel, no curb rash. Can find our date code here. Again, 2022 on the rear tire date code. We'll take a look here uh, again. Got the carbon fiber uh, piece uh, on the intake. Look at the door, no issues here. The, uh, the black lower rocker is wrapped not a factory option, but it is wrapped and done very nicely. So we've got the Scuderia shields on the fenders. Uh, the front wheel, no curb rash. And again, 2022 on the date code. So all four tires have just recently been replaced. No dings or scratches. Take a look at the windshield. Uh, there's no, uh, no chips or stars or cracks. Like I did find one small little uh, paint uh, rock chip, a uh, little rock pack right there. But uh, for an almost seven year old vehicle with a couple miles that it's been on the road, this is an extremely nice example. Now we're going to go ahead and take a look at the inside of the vehicle. See, it's got yellow stitching, carbon fiber uh, door sill. Take a look here at the VIN number, and you can see all the uh, stickers are still here intact. A couple options on the interior, you got the carbon fiber on the dash, carbon fiber steering wheel with the uh, shift LEDs, more of the carbon fiber dash uh, pieces, carbon fiber on the central tunnel. 
This car does have the front lift system. I'll go ahead and fire it up while I'm sitting in it. See, it's got the navigation option. It's got the backup camera. It also has uh, rear parking sensors. No check engine lights. Shift LEDs work. Exact miles are 4,354. Take a quick look at the uh, bolsters on the driver's seat. You can see no bolster wear, no scuffing. All the stitching is really nice. The passenger side, I like to try to do these when the sun's not out so I don't have shadows. Uh, but I'll do the best I can here. You can see there's no bolster wear passenger seat on the seat bottom or the seat back. Uh, we'll go back around the other side. I forgot to point that out on the, the driver's side. We'll shoot over there here in just a second. Again, you can see dashboard, no leather shrinkage, uh, no pulling. Uh, just everything's really, really super nice. Got the leather headliner with yellow stitching. Got the Cavallino crest in the headrests. Looking here at the rear. Got the leather rear shelf. Take a look at the top of the dash. No leather shrinkage or lifting. Take a look underneath the front bonnet. See we have the car cover with the bag. We have the air compressor. Get this opened up real quick. Uh, got the air compressor in here with the uh, tire sealant. Over here we have the tool set. Just pop this open real quick. See, we've got the tool set with the tow hook, uh, the gas funnel, screwdriver, some fuses, work gloves. You got your fuses in there, fuse puller. Over here, you have your uh, Torx head and a few other tools. Looks like we got the factory battery tender and front license plate bracket here you can see the build plaque with the full options uh, this is a very nicely equipped car not a stripped down version a lot of carbon fiber see it's got the AFS uh, front lights it's got all the carbon fiber it's got the suspension lifter and uh, a lot of other nice options paint tag on it, uh, Giallo Modena. It looks like it's probably been recently serviced because the uh, cabin air filter looks like it has uh, just been uh, replaced. Lastly, we'll take a quick look underneath the, uh, the rear bonnet in the engine compartment. Uh, it looks nice and clean. Uh, another crack of paint that's leaking off on the, uh, on the top of the engine. Everything in there so it's really nice and clean over here as well. Now we'll go ahead and take advantage of the sun being out now and do just a quick circle. This paint really pops in the yellow. Uh, just a super nice car with all the accents in the black and the carbon fiber. So make an extremely nice addition to your collection or if it's your first Ferrari, you'll absolutely love it. Gonna take a quick run down our side street here. I can tell you the air conditioning is blowing cold. I've got it in automatic mode. The shifts are smooth like they should be. There's no pulling. Uh, cars driving right down the middle of the street like it should.
quick little turnaround here. You can see the car pops right into reverse. See, we've got the backup camera. up to speed about 45 miles an hour I've got no shaking uh, in the steering wheel car drives and rides just like it should last thing we're gonna take a look at is that the front lift system is working since I've got this dip right here to go out so we're gonna go ahead and push the button here you can see that the lift is moving it is in its up position. I'll still take it easy out here. And go ahead and pull into the other side of the parking lot. And we will go ahead and lower it. See if I can get it where you can see that it's actually lowering. There it is going down, and it is now in the down position.